we're going into our top 10 quarterbacks now. We're going to start off at 10. It, we all just for briefly just talk about who we got. I'll go first. At number 10, I have Dak Prescott sneaking into my top 10. I, I, I actually... So, I, so, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me talk. I'm just saying, I must know that's disrespectful. Because the quarterbacks I have below him, we're going to play on the They are worse than that. But, carry on. All right. I got Dak at number 10, man. I, 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 want, I actually wanted to put him higher. I, I forced myself to put him at 10, bro. Like, I wanted to put him higher than 10. Who below him is better than him, bro? Who, who, who below him is better than him? We're we going to get into that. We're we going to get into that. But I, I had a couple people now make the make the list who I felt like were deserving. Or not nobody's deserving. After number seven, really, nobody deserved to be here, bro. Like, a lot of, there's not that there's not that many good quarterbacks. I don't. Didn't I, I said that before. It's because the older quarterbacks are regressing a lot now. Like Brady, Rodgers, they they've been regressing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't really get the same one number ten because uh, Mike keep cutting me off. He he he. I know he hates the number ten, but you can, at least. No. Can I say number? Yeah. My number ten. My number ten is uh, Dak Prescott. Y'all are weird. <laughs> My number ten is Jared Goff. No. Yes. Ew. I, so, Jared so Goff? Jared Goff, higher or lower? Is he higher or lower? He's lower. Oh, Dak is better than Jared Goff, bro. Okay, bro. So when y'all hear my, when y'all hear my list, y'all. Bro, he doesn't have, like, Lamar Jackson on his list. Lamar is hurt. Yeah. Hurt, Him and Dak Prescott played the same amount of games, by the way, but keep going. They literally did. Like, it's literally a stat, like, games played. They both played 12 games. <laughs> like, 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 we can't argue that. They they played the same amount of games as you. Who, who had a bigger impact on our team, Dak or Lamar? Uh, actually, that's such a great question because Lamar did. And let me tell you why before you talk. No. Cooper Rush came into the Cowboys. And what, shock, what did they go? Did they go, like, 5-1 and one when, when Cooper Rush was there? 4-2. All right, four and two. Yeah, they were pretty good, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Lamar, Lamar leaves Baltimore, and they go from the one seed to to barely scratching the playoffs. Okay. Okay. Let me pull up the number. Let me pull up the number for you. Lamar had twenty total touchdowns, twelve total turnovers. That guy had twenty four total touchdowns, fifteen interceptions, four fumbles. But we made the playoffs, and we went, we went farther than they did. In the playoffs. But like you said, he was hurt. Both of them were hurt. Yeah. That guy hurt in the beginning. Why got hurt in the end? I think I think if I think if Lamar if Lamar plays, I think they make it to the same distance in the playoffs. They they know they lose to the Bengals again. You think they lose to the Bengals or Lamar? That that that's all I'll take. Yes. They 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 have before. I know, but like the, the Ravens defense was playing the Bengals tough. I mean, super tough. And if you – hold on, let me say something. If the other week you would tell me that Tony Pollard would change the the game against the 49ers, I do not know why Lamar Jackson wouldn't change the game against the Bengals. He is the – he just like Tony Pollard is y'all run game, Lamar is their run game, and he's the passing game because he's the quarterback. That sounds like a – no problem. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe the Ravens should actually invest in Lamar and do something for Lamar to help them get better. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If they if they pay Lamar, you know he plays, right? He, he no, he does. Think. Yeah, he does. He said, yeah, I don't think he does. He said his, his knee was still hurt. Like, I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying, if I'm Lam, if I'm Lamar, if I'm paid for the next five years and my knee is hurt. I could see it more likely that he will be willing to take the shots and like what Patrick Mahomes is doing, because Patrick Mahomes, no, he's on the contract for the next ten years. Like if he fucks up his uh, ankle, he 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 could he could sit on the bench for three years and rest. Lamar Jackson doesn't have that security. Yeah, Mahomes, they're, they're two different players, bro. You really can't compare two different people, two different situations. But I'm just saying, it's more likely he would have played if he had a contract. I don't think so. I think he still would have sat out even with the. I don't know the severity of the injury, but like 
like Shannon said, bro, who was the last person to suck it up and play or, or with her, while with a hurt knee? RG3. Where is RG3 at now? At the crib. On TV. I'm not saying he should have. He, he did the right decision. I'm not saying he should have, but I'm just saying it would have been more likely. Like, RG3... He didn't have that that contract extension, and he was doing that. He was in his rookie year doing it. I don't think Lamar. Man. No, you, there's no way you can convince me that Lamar, even if he had a contract, still would have played. Because I know if I'm him, and I'm still hurt, and I know I rely on my legs to do most of my stuff because I have no weapons and my play call is trash. I'm not going to go out there and sacrifice myself just because I have a contract. No, no, no. I understand that. I understand that. But I'm just saying it, it. 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 We don't know too much about Lamar's injury. Like they haven't really been talking to us about it. I'm just saying if it was a three out of ten, a four out of ten, and Lamar agent told him to play it safe since it's a four out of ten. You understand what I mean? Like if it barely hurt it, if it hurt it enough to where he could sit out, he. That's what he should have did. But I feel like if it hurt enough to where he should sit out, but he was on contract for the next six years, he would possibly convince himself to play. If he had three hundred million guaranteed, you don't think that he would have been like, you know what, my money's guaranteed. I'm not losing anything. Just hopefully, I stay healthy. That would make it, that would make it worse, bro, because that would put pressure on the team. Like that would. Yeah, but not him though. Yeah. Fuck it. Th- that's the team issue. Oh, so <laughs> hey, that's the team yeah. issue, not him, so, bro. But no, so so now, so now he look. The media already makes him look bad for not playing. So now he's hurt. He's stealing. He he has three hundred million dollars, and he's not benefiting the team at all. Like they're they're gonna make him look bad either way. So. Yeah, the media just don't like Lamar, so they they gonna make him look bad regardless. But yeah, we've been. I love Lamar, but like I said, bro, he's not, he's, he's not in my top 10 because I think Dak had a bigger impact on the team. Wait, what number are we on, bro? We're on number, number 10. 10. Bro, Let, let's talk about number nine. At number nine, this is where I have Lamar Jackson. Um, Hey, Mar. Y'all are weird. <laughs> too, Him and Dak are... are it, one spot is not such a crazy difference to where I, I would argue it too much, but Lamar just has... Something special to him, which I feel like Dak is lacking. Dak, Dak doesn't really have a, another gear, and I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make this too much about Dak. Like, like. It, you tell me what does Lamar have that Dak? Does? Only, the only thing I know is running the crew. That's it. That's the only thing Lamar do that Dak can't do. He has it though. He does not have it. You wanna know what it? Who has it? Yo, girl. Tom Brady. They have it. That's he has more of it than Dak Prescott. No, he does not because you want to know they've been to the same spot in the playoffs. So yeah, but Dak Prescott's been doing this for almost a decade now. Lamar's still like Lamar. Lamar's been to the same places as in, as in, Dak in less time. Two years, two years apart. So what's two years? They came in two years apart. It's, it's it, for me. It's just one spot. I'm not. I'm not going to argue too much. Lamar. Lamar. What he does with the little amount of weapons he has and the terrible play calling he has. And he's honestly become, he's went from overrated to underrated real quick. I, I kind of love it, though, for him. Like, I feel like him being an underdog is the best scenario for him to win the Super Bowl. Hopefully, it could happen one day with the Ravens. Um, I doubt it could happen with the Ravens. Yeah, I, 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 I seriously doubt it. The way that organization is ran for Lamar. They they depend on him too much. They they need to get him a wide receiver. They need to get him better O line. They they need to get him something to where he could be something different. Like Greg Roman was a great firing because he he doesn't. I don't know how to explain it, man. But I'm really interested in who the Ravens are gonna get as their head coach or offensive coordinator. I wouldn't. This is a spot that I would like Sean Payton to go in. They Fire John Harbaugh. I gotta use the bathroom really quick. All right. What you, what you got at your number nine, Mike? I got Geno Smith in my nine. Made the playoffs. He's definitely comeback player of the year. So. Do you want to bet on that? He's a pro. Who's gonna look? Who's who's gonna win it over? Shake him. Shake him. 
You want to bet on it? No, I don't want to bet on it, but I know it's not going to happen. Bro, say, all right. Say what you're going to say, He had Lamar. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. That was mine. That's my last one. So you, you, you say you're number eight. You can say you're number eight now. Me? Yeah. Oh, my number eight is... I had, I had a hard time putting him here because of the same reason why I didn't put Lamar. Because he got hurt. And he got hurt in the most crucial spots. My number eight is Tua. And my number eight is because when he played, you know, they were literally in every single game. Like, he could have went undefeated while he was playing. Maybe except against the 49ers. That was maybe all he wanted to do. Even though uh, it was close up until it wasn't close. Uh, injuries just derailed his season. But I feel like if Tua, if he was healthy and didn't have concussions, they would have they would have beat the Bills. And that, it would be a whole different situation than what it is now. Yeah, that's my number eight, man. Who you got at eight, Shark? Who do you think, bro? I think you got Geno Smith. Nah, it's not Geno Smith, man. Oh. Is Geno in your top ten? Yes. Oh, bro. Man, so Geno's better than Dak. Y'all are on drugs. I swear to God. I got a hot take. <laughs> I got a, I don't got Geno Smith or two on my list. Bro, come on, man. You, you already know who I have at number eight. Oh, he has Kenny Pickett. Hey, yeah. You're disgusting. You're a hell Kenny you're Pickett nasty. at number eight. You're nasty. You're nasty. Hey, man. Hey, we got Kenny Pickett at number eight. Just look at him as a as over over his last like nine games or whatever. No, eight games because I don't count the Ravens one because he only played one series. He went seven and one, only turned the ball over one time, two game winning drives. That's mm-hmm. number eight right there. Hey, 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 man. He's number eight in the NFL, bro. All right, man. Hey, Kenny Pickett, number eight. Number eight, I got Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins better than Dak, even though they do almost the same interceptions. Okay. (laughs) I got Kirk Cousins at number eight ahead of Lamar Jackson. Um, The Vikings, it's a big... A big part of Kirk Cousins' success is credit to Justin Jefferson, to be honest. But when TJ Hawkinson came into the team later on in the season, Kirk immediately had chemistry with him, too. And Kirk doesn't have the... He has maybe the best weapons, but he doesn't have the best situation when you really think about it. Because Kevin o- O'Connell, that's their head coach name? Yes. He doesn't use Dalvin Cook the, the way he should. Like, he relies on Kirk Cousins to be the offense instead of, like, a play-action scheme. You know, you have the one of the best running backs in the league. He doesn't really use that to the full, like, levels he could. But Kirk Cousins actually held his own this year. He, he, he held it down for the Vikings. They were one of the best offenses in the league, even though they, they, they look like frauds the whole season because, like, we all know the, the – the highest level Kirk Cousins could play at, and this is it—the top eight quarterback in the league. But I don't think he could. Like the guys below him, I don't think he could lead your team to a Super Bowl. Not at this moment yet. But can you explain to me how he's over that? Bro? I mean, I, I appreciate you putting him in your team, but um, they're 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 sim- They are similar level of quarterbacks. Like that, this is the tier that I see Dak Prescott in. Like they're in the same tier. 
I see Dak Prescott in the in the Kirk Cousins, Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, and you can maybe throw in like a Aaron Rodgers in that tier. I think I think that's the tier Dak Prescott is in. Like that that's good company to be in. Like he it's not the lead of the lead, but it's it's damn near. Like But you realize he's yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Oh, when, oh, you know, I don't get it. I don't. I just don't understand, bro. Okay. It's just when I watch the games, man. When you, okay, so the only thing I'll give you about that not being the same as that is, being, is how inconsistent he is, right? Week 18, he throws two terrible interceptions. First watch, has a 38% completion rate and 14 to 37 Awful. The next week, he plays perfect, literally perfect against Tampa Bay. The next week, he plays like garbage against the 49ers. The inconsistencies, I get it. But don't you think this year is an anomaly? If you look back, 2021, 37 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, played perfect almost the whole season. He played great in 2020. It's deep. I'm going to, I'm going on track, bro. This is not a dad topic. Who's y'all seven? Who's y'all seven? Uh, at seven, I got the last guy on that tier of quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers. Um, he didn't have the greatest season, but I feel like context matters. He had a terrible situation, a, a toxic situation. Do a lot of that is due to him also though, the toxic situation. I was just about to ask. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's not like he doesn't have any blame for it either, but. Rodgers is still him. Like he he was just the back to back Super Bowl MVP. Like if, if just in case anybody don't remember that. And if he went to a team like like let let's say somehow he ends up in New York, the Giants. Now I'm just, just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. He's going to the he's going to the Jets. He's going to the He goes to the Jets, the Raiders, he goes to one of those teams. They they are almost favorites in my opinion. The the Jets with Aaron Rodgers, come on man. That defense. They signed, they signed his uh, offensive coordinator. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're going to try it. Well, I think, so my thing with Dak is, you guys said this is weighted more towards this season. So that's kind of where my yeah. head was at with it. Yeah. And, you know, obviously if Kenny Pickett was going off the first half of the season, he wouldn't be number eight for me. But anyway, my number seven is Trevor Lawrence. I think that he finished the season really well, and the playoff heroics kind of moved the needle for me on this list. So, I mean, you can't you can't hate T-Law, right? My seven is that because I think he played better than the guys below him. We all have been playing better than the guys I have above him. Uh, you might not talk about his inconsistencies. I understand that. Very consistent this year. Okay. Had so many ups and downs. Uh, but I think he will bounce back. And it was a tough situation for him. He had one wide receiver this year. He played good throughout the season. He had a tight end, our tight end role. Probably all the best. Our best besides CD Lamb and Tony Pollard, the about the best skill group on uh-uh. offense. Wide receivers besides CD, um, Tony Pollard and CD Lamb carried the uh, the, play, uh, the offense this year, and it, it is what it is. But he's Dak. That's why Dak is my seven. He'll be good. He'll be back. He'll be back. Who's your seven? Uh, it, mine was Aaron Rodgers. I'm uh, y'all. All right, who's your seven? My number seven was Aaron Rodgers. So my number ten is Dak Prescott. My number nine is Lamar. Eight is Cousins. Seven is Aaron Rodgers. And do y'all want me to say six? You're muted. <laughs> All right. Um, my number seven was Aaron Rodgers. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, Who's our six? My number six was Trevor Lawrence. Um. I think I think this is going up next season. Calvin Ridley, he, he's gonna be a third year quarterback. They got so much cat space to get him new weapons around him. But 
we're gonna just talk about this season. That that's me projecting. Trevor Lawrence had a, a turnaround of a season, and and I'm I'm gonna say it right now. Trevor Lawrence and Dak Prescott are not that far away from each other, but Trevor Lawrence is six and Dak Prescott is ten. Like it, it they're not that far from each other. Like I, I'll tell you that. Like Trevor Lawrence can. Still young. Yeah, yeah, but that that's that's just upside. As of right now, him and Dak Prescott are not that far from each other. Trevor Lawrence had a game with what four interceptions in the in the first match. Yeah, the playoffs. yeah, bro, like he he's not that far from Dak Prescott, but I'm gonna just say, it. Dak don't got that last word I just said. It Trevor Lawrence has it, like. No, he doesn't, bro. Like, bro when doesn't you Trevor Lawrence definitely don't got it. When you he watch can, Trevor, he can get it. He can get it. <sighs> When you watch Trevor Lawrence in like a, in the playoff atmosphere, playing against Patrick Mahomes, who's almost who may be beginning a dynasty in Kansas City, and he's throwing to Marvin Jones and like just bullets to him. I don't know, man. Trevor Lawrence is is amazing, and the weapons that he has, they're not even all that. He's doing so much with not so little, but minimal. Like, the, the Jaguars did a minimum they could do for him. And he making it look like a lot. Bro, Evan Ingram. I, I would watch Evan Ingram do nothing. All of a sudden, this man's looking like a a good tight end. Yeah. But, um, well, Trevor Lawrence is definitely better than Daniel Jones. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Level's better. Who y'all got at? A mic? Uh, my six is Trevor Lawrence. Oh, you same. Okay. And I don't have to go too much into detail about Trevor Lawrence. My six, y'all know why. The same reasons why he was y'all's seven six. But we all had him at six. No, I had no, him at seven. We had him at seven. I had him at six. We had me. You had him at six. Um, give him another year. Oh, he played great this year. I haven't said my six. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, a, it's your turn now. My six is Geno Smith. Disgusting. Yeah. Because he's him, bro. He is good. He is not. Okay, look. I get it. He fumbles a lot. But aside from that, he might be even higher. He's good, bro. I like him. Or right, even higher when, like, the rest of the name. That means he'll be over, like, Justin Herbert now. No, 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 no. no. He's not even higher. <laughs> All right, Gino, number six is the limit. I, That's why I had him at nine. Probably, if he didn't fumble that game away, bro, they would have won. I don't know. He's still the 49ers. Who you got at number five? Me? Yeah. I got Jalen Hurts. See, my five and six is debatable. Like, what, you can really Mar? Who you got at five, Mike? Just Herbert. You got anything you want to say about that? You got, you got anything you want to say about that, Mike? Y'all, y'all don't got anything y'all want to say about your number five spot? David Hurts no. is it, bro. He's like, he's the only quarterback to ever have, what is it, 15 rushing touchdowns in a season or something like that, bro. And he's, you know. He had a good touchdown interception ratio. I mean, I know his team's fire, but hey, man, he's executed. What about you, Mike? I have my, like I said, my five and six can really be moved around. Trevor Lawrence and Justin Herbert, they really can be flip flop. Um, Trevor Lawrence, I mean, Justin Herbert, some of his weapons went down earlier in the year, but uh, he still played okay. He played good this year. So, like I was saying, that's not that, like, the top three or four. They play consistently, like almost great for the majority of the year. Like Justin Herbert has some up and down performances. Trevor Lawrence has some up and down performances. Like the top four, like you could say they play consistently, great, and the, the everybody else, you know, are literally interchangeable. So, uh, I'm gonna agree with Mike here. Number five and six interchangeable. I also had Justin Herbert here. Him and Trevor Lawrence. I mean, nah, it's not interchangeable. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, Justin Herbert is number five. But. I don't, like I said, I can put, I can put them either way because they both had the same amount of passing touchdowns. So five, and they both made it. They got to where they got. 
playoffs. Yeah, I'm projecting Trevor to pass him, but Justin Herbert, he's still insane. Like he he still has one of the best deep balls. He has maybe some of the most overrated weapons, honestly, because they're never playing. Like Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I feel like when I watch Charger games personally, I hear Josh Palmer named the most and Austin Eckler. Like <laughs> the rest of his weapons are always hurt somehow. Um but yeah, I it ain't really anything else to say about Justin Herbert, Mike kinda. Let it out and I feel like me and Mike about to have the same top five list for some reason. We probably could hey, there's, a, there's a chance we could. It's like you and him had the same like two, yeah. Two, right? Same nine and ten, you have the same four two one. Uh my number four, Josh Allen. Josh Allen fell off towards the end of the season because you know, he played great at first, he kinda of fell off towards the end of the season. But he was still great this year. Uh he was he I think he I believe he led his team in rushing. You know, he led his team in everything. <laughs> he was the team besides Stephon Diggs and the all right, the medium good all right defense. So and that's what I was saying. The one, two, three, and four, those are the ones who we can say, okay, this is solidified. These are the four best quarterbacks in the NFL. And everybody else is literally you can move them around and put them in any sport you wanted to, and it would all make sense. So, eight, nine, and ten. So, five, six, and seven, you can move them around and it'll make sense. Okay. I have Aaron Rodgers at number four. Why? He didn't make the playoffs. Like, I feel like if you have – so, so you're missing somebody from this list. So, somebody from this – somebody didn't make it. You cut somebody. He, 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 he. Four, for him to not make the playoffs. Somebody – you cut somebody. Wrongly. Hold on. You will play somebody with Kenny Pickett. You're a disgusting. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You, you said Jalen Hurts already. No, nah, no. Nah, I see how his list is going to round out. It, it's not terrible. What was Jalen Hurts for you? For him, he was uh, number five. Oh, okay. But he still like took out. Rodgers is nice, bro. I don't care. He they made a run end of the season. Like That last game they lost was kind of an L, but yeah. That's what right. I mean. He still missed the playoffs. Like, I'm not putting nobody that didn't. Everybody on this list made the playoffs. Like, except Jared Goff. He was a Seahawks loss away from missing the playoffs, making the playoffs. So, I don't know how you can put two teams, two people who didn't make the playoffs. Can you make it end of the season on a win? Seven and one over his last eight games that he played, bro. Sam Howell also ended the season on a win. You don't see me put him up there. Sam Howell was not seven and one over his last eight games. Because he wasn't good enough. Play he bro, he's Sam Howell. He should have been playing some Carson Wentz. He's okay, but he's not better than Kenny. You don't know that. He didn't get a chance to show it. Because he didn't he's get not his chance. Than Kenny. He didn't get his chance. He was a he got drafted in the fifth round. Y'all only drafted Kenny in the first round because he was that big. That's because that's what he's that's for. Bad, bro. Kenny's the best that's quarterback not. in the draft. Don't even say Brock Purdy. Don't even do it. I'm not gonna say. I'm not wasn't gonna say that because Brock Purdy got carried. Niners, he would be doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not debating that. I don't think anybody is. Okay. I mean, Brock Purdy was getting carried the whole season. Okay, I don't he know. Brock Purdy's pretty nice. <laughs> Look at the way you put him on the Texans. Put him on. Put him on the Cowboys. Even they're not doing that, bro. So put him on the Eagles. Cowboys. Yeah, right. I don't know. They're not, no, no, no. Yeah. Because you want to know, no, you want to know why? Because they, they would still have Keller Moore as their OC, and he would still be running curl runs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, why yeah, don't you kick No one kicked you, bro. Yeah, no one kicked you. He just, the curl routes kicked you, man. Yeah, you just hate those curl routes. At least you don't got to see it no more. I'm glad. Now, now, he's, now they're stuck with the Chargers. Let's um at number four. At number four, I also got Josh Allen, and me and me and Mike's list is gonna round out to be the same. I I I, I just felt, yeah. Um, Josh Allen to me, he's a bit overrated, but he's still number four. Like that just goes to tell you how much people I see have Josh Allen at number one. Like he is not the most 
turnover-prone quarterback in the league. More than Dak Prescott, which is crazy to say that there is someone who, who, who is more turnover-prone than Dak Prescott. No, Jump. Not, bro, stop. Pause. I'm not going to let this last continue, bro. <laughs> that is Cap. Josh Allen is way much better than Dak Prescott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He is. He is. And it's like, it gets slept under the rug. Like, no one, no one, like, Josh Allen could finish a season with 20 turnovers and no one says anything. That that, that makes no sense to me. But. Because of his golden arm. He has a golden arm, bro. Let's remember what he was before he got Steph on Nothing. I wanted to say what he was before. Another person is Brian Dable because Josh Allen had a serious turnover issue before him and Dable clicked. And the year Dayball goes, he he has his uh, a terrible season with his turnover problems once again. And he goes to New York, and D- Daniel Jones all of a sudden stops turning the ball over. He stops losing his games. Um, a big credit to that is offensive coordinator, and hopefully Dak Prescott could find someone like that to help him in Dallas and make him look better. But you know it's not happening right now. And someone like okay, hold on, do me a favor, bro. Stop talking about. No, I do it on purpose. I do it on purpose, though. Don't do that. I do it. On... <laughs> but um, I feel like they need to get a new who who is their offensive coordinator right now. I feel like they they just need someone to. Who, the Cowboys. No, the Bills. The Bills. Uh, Ken Norton. Uh, not Ken Norton. Ken Dorsey. That sounds familiar. Yeah, that sounds familiar. He's a quarterback. I feel like they should get a new offensive coordinator. I I. I I don't think Josh Allen is, like, completely falling off or nothing. He's still a top five quarterback in the league. You can win a Super Bowl with him as your best player. But it's going to be hard for him to make it to that, to the Super Bowl. Because when you look at it, bro, Mahomes and Burrow are here to stay. No no question. And then Trevor Lawrence is coming. Justin Herbert, he... Maybe, maybe maybe he's just the Philip Rivers for real in, in all of this and just he's just he's just there. I did not want to call him that bro. He's just there. He he's just there. Like he's always just gonna be there and make it competitive. Same with Lamar Jackson as long as he's in Baltimore. He's just gonna be there and make it competitive. Josh Allen, he could sometimes get upset by one of those other quarterbacks and going against Mahomes and Burrow, I feel like he should always be the underdog. Like, I don't ever see the Bills as the favorites playing against the Bengals or playing against the Chiefs. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm. Not, like, it's like when he played the Bengals. What did he do? Nothing. Yeah. Like, he did a lot of nothing. And Joe Burrow just showed why he's better. So, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, that's, that's all. For, who's your four? Uh, Shock. My four is Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, you said that already. Oh, yeah, I was the last one to say my four. So, my number three is Jalen Hurts. Yes, sir. Jay- Jalen Hurts had an amazing breakout season. Um, Passing the ball, he's impressed me. Um, The only reason I didn't have the Eagles making the Super Bowl is I said that Jalen Hurts has to prove to me in the Super Bowl that he could pass the ball. Because last season, or not in the Super Bowl, in the playoffs. Um, cause last season against the Buccaneers, he he didn't do that, and they said he did it. So hey, man, I'm gonna give him his credit, and he's been having a special season. The Eagles will honestly have one loss this season if he never got hurt. I was number three. Who was that against? They lost against the Commanders. I was number three for you. Yeah. You're talking about the Saints game. Probably. I don't know if they would have lost any games if Hurts didn't play, bro. But the Cowboys game, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. But, yeah. I got Jalen Hurts as my number three. Who do you have, Shaw? My number three is Josh Allen. Yeah. But why? Why? Yes. He's nice, bro. Josh Allen is nice. He's the whole, he's the Buffalo Bills offense. Yeah, but he's not the third, but... At least in our top three. Yeah, bro. People literally had Josh Allen as the best quarterback in the NFL coming into the season. 
and they were tweaking because he was never better than Patrick Mahomes. There's okay, never well, been a time where I think he's number three. three. Look, there's no way on God's green earth that I would ever take Josh Allen over Patrick Mahomes. Never. But I, anybody who oh, anybody who does, they're crazy. I didn't put I didn't put Mahomes over him. I no, mean, I'm I, saying, didn't put, I didn't put him over Mahomes. I'm not, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the people who came into the season talking about Josh Allen was better than Patrick Mahomes. No, Mahomes is better than everybody. Yeah. Head and shoulders. Yeah. So, um, since we got off our number threes, I'm pretty sure number one and two, um, if you're listening right now, sorry to spoil it. I'm pretty sure we all gonna agree it's Mahomes and Burrow at one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you need me to tell y'all why Mahomes is number one, you shouldn't be listening to here. Go somewhere else. Uh, I'm playing. You can keep listening. Oh, I'm trolling. Uh, 